And thank you for listening to Utah Public Radio. Up next, it's our weekly movie review. Here's our film critic, Casey T. Allen. In a small Massachusetts town in the 1960s lives an unhappy 24-year-old woman named Eileen, whom this film is named after. This title character lives with her verbally cruel and alcoholic father and works as a secretary at a correctional facility for young boys. Eileen's dreary life gets an unexpected surprise when a glamorous, confident woman arrives to work at the correctional facility and maybe make a new friend. Although this film is set in the frigid days of Christmas time, nobody watching this will get a warm, comforting sensation deep within their chest. This delicate friendship takes a nasty turn to a situation that is violent, secretive, and criminal. Eileen is a desolate isolation story, but it's also a female noir mystery about the dangerous revelations we discover when judging others too quickly. Director William Oldroyd had his feature film debut in 2016 with the stunning sociopathic period drama Lady Macbeth. Now with Eileen, he creates a pallid character study of a woman adrift in her own loneliness and repression who is triggered to make alarming decisions. This film is adapted from the 2015 debut novel by American author Otessa Moschweg, which made a big splash in the literary world. I know it's not helpful to compare films to the books they are based on because they both function so differently in telling stories, but I do want to say the book has more ugliness than the film. The book is dirtier and less likable than the film, but that doesn't mean the film adaptation should be discounted. The film's abundant use of shadows, jarring moments of gunshots, and long close-ups of Thomas and Mackenzie's rigid face remind me of 1960s films by Alfred Hitchcock and even Ingmar Bergman. I heard one of this film's stars, Anne Hathaway, say in an interview that Eileen is like the 2015 drama Carol meets the 1992 crime thriller Reservoir Dogs, and I love that description. Don't watch Eileen if you want to feel hopeful and energized afterward, but you will get a fascinating peek into a woman's psychological breaking point. In the desperation of being alone, friendship is not always a relieving solution. Sometimes it's a crushing one. For Flix at 48, I'm Casey T. Allen.